Breaking news. Ohanyeze, General Assembly, asks Buhari to consider Igbo for IGP. Hello, my wonderful people. I hope you're well and we're reaching you well today. Very warm big thank you to every one of you out there. God bless you. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. The Ohanyezes are making a request to President Muhammad Buhari. Let's get straight into the news and get all the details. Ohanyezes Indigo General Assembly Worldwide OGA has urged President Muhammad Buhari to consider appointing an Igbo as the next I Inspector General of Police, IGP. The group was reacting to the president's appointment of new service chiefs. Loki Irabo, Chief of Defense Staff, Ibrahim Atora, Chief of Army Staff, Arul Gamble, Chief of Naval Staff, Anisiak Ahmed, Chief of Air Staff on Tuesday. In a statement by its President General Onyero yesterday, the group said President Muhammad Buhari excluded Igbo from the appointment and urged him to appoint the most senior Igbo in the force as IGP. Is there is no is there no Igbo among among the force? There is no Igbo man among the newly appointed service chiefs. Those who claim that the newly appointed Chief of Defense, Major General Leonard Irabo, is an Igbo man, should tell us if Irabo is an Igbo name. He said, as the Inspector General of Police is due to retire and his retirement fast getting ready for his exit of, for the, from police position, we call on APC, led federal government to consider an Igbo man for the position of the Inspector General of Police. If there is no Igbo man or woman qualified for the job of the IGP, promote the next Igbo to the line of the next Igbo in line to become the police in line to become the police chief force. The OGA sp spoke at the International Social Society for Civil Liberty and Rule of Law. Inter Social Inter Society wrote the Police Service Commission. PC, PSC, asking it to, among other issues, deliberate on who succeeds the current IGP and address what is called Igbo exclusion and other injustice in police promotion. In a letter to the commissioner signed by Emeka, board chairman Chinwe Uma, head democracy and good governance, joy, and others of our sons and daughters, names so numerous, can also be promoted to get this position, noting that Adamu is due to retire in first, on 1st of February, and three DIGs, 10 AIGs, have reached retirement age and are expected to go with IGP Adamu. The group said there are a number of other senior police officers who are part of the Nigerian police management team, chaired by the outgoing IGP. As your commissioner is likely aware, three, I, three DIGs and 10 AIGs have reached retirement age and will statutorily re retire with IGP Abubakar next Monday, 1st February 2021, having joined the force with the outgoing IGP 1st of February 1986. The three retired DIGs are DIG Baraye, DIG Igbazo, DIG Onyebado, and the 10 retired police DIGs are DIG Kama, AIG Lamedo, AIG Mustafa, AIG Ika, AIG Mava, Mava, AIG Babajide, BIG Basmos, AIG Amba, AIG Akman, AIG Dayo. We therefore wish to bring to its attention the remaining same of the outcry generated by the commissioner last promotion on 18th December 2020. The outcry by the public, public interest group and direct victim of the shaded promotion race ranges from deliberate total exclusion of Igbo Southeast officers from the rank of police AIG allocation 
of CP slots to the region, as well as paddling the list of those made CPs, DCPs, and ACPs, and on just exclusion of the promotion list of the senior officers due to promotion exercise and especially those in the rank of ACPs scheduled for promotion for the rank of DCPs having successfully undergone the mandatory promotion exam and annual pro performance evaluation report APERS. It is on account of the above that intersocial is right into our society is writing your commission and call on you to frontly, justly, and durably address Igbo exclusion and other glaring injustice thrown on the last promotion exercise, which was greeted by widespread outcry and misgiven. The vacant the vacancy created by 10 retiring AIG is a golden opportunity for CPs. For CSPs to make amends already, fears are growing widely that there may be another round of promotion exercise outside the confinement of region balancing merit and seniority. We hereby attach the profile of our commission and as a working document, our expert opinion paper related on 29th December 2020 finding made in the fourth page investigative report which we feel is capable of promoting addressing the said injustice. If judiciary studies and act upon our commission, the investigative report had flown at total exclusion of Igbo South East from the list of police AIGs to the extent that out of the country 36 seven AIGs and 17 police donor commission headed by same AIGs, no Igbo South East is among them. Now that's not very nice. That's too bad. In the rank of CPs, two, out of the country, 119, only eight, instead of at least 19, are from Igbo, southeast, and eight, only six, and out of the, uh, on, and out of the eight, only six have a minimum of one and a half year to serve in the police force. It is therefore our firm demand that the glaring injustice highlighted above must be frowned must be frankly addressed immediately and AI and ACPs left out of the evils should be included in the 2020 December 18 promotion list. My dear, this is the evils request. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Bye for now.